parents, um, senior day, thoughts, I guess we'll, we'll start there. How were how the emotions today? Yeah, I mean, emotions were kind of high, of course. You know, this is my last time in Chrysler uh, for the time being. And, uh, you know, it was pretty high, but, you know, I was just excited. I was excited just to be out there with the fam, my actual family, and then my brothers, you know, beside me and in the locker room. You know, that's just, you know, bringing me joy, you know, throughout all of this. So, you know, I was definitely happy today, no matter what the end results was, just playing basketball out there and just seeing my family here to support me. Mark, you get pulled up five. Was that as obvious as I think? Was that for asking him to come back? Or was everyone pulled up with just his jersey number? What's five about? Uh, you however about? you want to interpret it. But no, I, yeah, I mean, uh, every time T. Will gets his name called, we put up the fives to represent five and also what he brought to this program um, and what he continues to bring each and every day. So. Um, I thank him, especially this being my first year here, and um, very grateful for him as a teammate and him as a brother. Uh, this one's for any of you. Kisa Tobinaga, 30 points tonight, gave you trouble last time as well. Um, you know, what makes him so difficult to guard? Uh, he's scared. Just ridiculous. I mean, the shots is just ridiculous, some of the shots that he hits, especially once he sees his first one go through. Um, I think that's big for um, team opposition or opposing team to cut the water off early. Don't even let him get you know one going in and giving him confidence because he really rolls off confidence and um, it ignites his um, downhill drives and then of course the long deep balls that he hits um, when the, when it's rolling for him. So um, cutting that off early is very important for us if we are to see him in the Big Ten tournament, whatever the case may be. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm frustrated about that for sure. I guess follow up. What was the game plan going in to guard him? Body on, and uh, a lot of the times we got we lost him in transition, um, and sometimes that happens. But we got to have a little bit better communication and uh, just awareness to where he's at at all times and like, picking him up early, kind of as soon as he crosses half court. I think he only had two points in the second half. Did you switch something up? Uh, no, I think we just morally, like, we knew he had 25 or how many, many points he had at half, and we just, like, we got to cut his water off. Just more so just finding him wherever he is on the court, whether that is transition or in the half court, you know, just finding him and just trying to not let him get going in the second half. Aaron, I know you guys still have more basketball to play in Minneapolis or going there with the, the best intentions. Last part, 8 and 23, that just, it would never sit right with me. I don't think it ever will. Just 8 and 23, that's just a bad record. I just didn't have a vision for my senior season to go, of course, but you know, it, it happens. Um, it's adversity. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm going through adversity. We all going through adversity. And you know, it's just making us to become young men that we are. So, you know, I can't be mad at it. You know, I'm gonna be mad at that record, but what we going through, you know, I feel like we're gonna get through it. And you know, like I said, I, I made some brothers this year. I'm happy about that. I'm playing basketball. Can't be mad about that. So, you know, my 10 year old self will be happy where I am right now. And that's all that matters to me in this moment <clears throat> and this uh, final, se uh, final season here uh, for the time being. Terrence said to Mario, Mario, I know you just won't be going back just for one year, but can you both speak to kind of what he's, he's brought to the program? I don't want to take that. <laughs> um, Jackson, he's been a, he's my locker roommate, or my locker buddy right next to me. It's him and, um, Ian, um, but he's a legend himself. <laughs> and even though I'm saying that as a joke, because we say that to each other, it's also serious. Um, the way he goes about each and every day, um, the reps he's taking on the scout team, giving us a good look um, for the five men on the opposing team, and just coming in each day with a, a mindset to help us, and also just to you know, create a brotherhood. He's somebody that I call my brother now and for the rest of my life. And I'm grateful for what he's done for me and this team. Yeah, to go along with that, <clears throat> Jackson, man, one of a kind. He comes in every day, puts in the work on scout team, puts in the work uh, when we're doing our drills. He gives it all at, at all times. And, you know, uh, you can count on him to bring it every single day in practice. And whenever he gets it in the game, you know he's going to bring it too. So, you know, that's my brother. And then, like, off the court, that's definitely my brother because we spent a lot of time together, you know, hanging out. I was over at his house watching the national championship. So it's just more than, you know, which I see on the court. Like, 
Jackson, man, he's one of a kind, and you know, he brought me in, a uh, manager to walk on. You know, that's something that's very hard to do. So, you know, I'm very proud of him, uh, proud of his journey, and it, his journey is inspiring to many people in the program. Jackson, could you dovetail off what they said and, and, and tell us about your experience here at Michigan as well? Uh, absolutely. It's been just a surreal experience to go from being a manager to being a player. My whole perspective on not only the game, but this university and this program has changed so much. And, you know, it means everything to me to be able to come in the gym with guys like Namari and Tiwo. Um, Mari, I've known him for a year, like we said before, but Tiwo to see his progression from his freshman year to like senior year now, it's just it's unbelievable to see where they're going to go. Just great, great basketball players, but they're really going to be successful in life, and that's what's important. Thank you, Coach. Uh, I appreciate it. I know, you, I know you guys mentioned this, but uh, when there hasn't been a lot of winning on, on the court, are you guys talking about winning in life, how this can help? I mean, most definitely. I mean, um, that's one thing I had brought up not too long ago. I was like, even though the season hasn't gone, you know, how we all want it to be, how we all envision. Um, we could never question the group of players, the group of teammates, the group of people that we had. Um, we have, have a lot of, all of us are high character individuals. And so, you know, to see how the season has gone, with that being said, it, it definitely sucks. It, it, it's, you know, it weighs on all of us in our own individual way. But um, us together and us as a group, man, I'm, I, you know, these guys are people that I would talk to for the rest of my life. And um, ultimately, man, I'm grateful for that. When you say it weighs on us in our own individual way, how have you guys battled that? How has Jawan kind of helped you guys coach through that, rise above? Yeah, it's all an adjustment for all of us, I would say. Um, you know, I don't think any of us are used to losing, you know, so um, it's something that we've all gone through together. We've all leaned on each other in the best way possible. Um, communication has not been a problem as far as off the court, um, as far as talking about what it takes to win and what we need to do and how we need to do it. Um, and that's why it is a little frustrating. But, you know, like I said, I, I am grateful for everybody, for the players, the staff. Um, these are, are great people all around. Yeah, so like to go along with that, you know, Coach Howard, you know, he's just trying to, you know, lay the message that, you know, we got to just get 1% better each day. And he's not like pounding the losses on us. He's not, you know, just saying, uh, yelling at us every day in practice or any of that. You know, we, we watch film, we try to learn from these mistakes that, you know, we keep doing and we try to apply it. And uh, I appreciate Coach Howard for that. Because a lot of coaches, you know, they, they could be yelling at us, you know, putting us down. But, you know, Coach Howard just wants us to become better on and off the court. So. You know, I feel like he's done that in this situation through all this adversity, and I appreciate him for that. Anything else? I think so. Quickly, I'll, I'll ask the, the flip side of that, just for, for the fan who hears that and says that, th that you guys aren't being pushed or that maybe there's any complacency, right? If, if Can you just speak to the counter? Yeah, I mean, no, nah, we definitely being pushed every day in practice. We're trying to fix the mistakes. Like, we're not just going to the practice thinking, like, uh, we're going to just wipe that away, away the game that just happened. Like, we're going to watch film. We're going to drill. Coach Howard's going to drill us, and the coach is going to put us through drills that help us in the next game. And, you know, we're not complacent with it. Like, we're not satisfied with the record, like, just to be, you know, transparent. But, um, yeah, to the fan that sees it, they're not going to see it back door because, you know, it's a fan perspective. They're not in the program each and every day. So I just feel like, you know, that's just false information because we're being pushed every day. We're pushing each other every day because that's going to make us better. So, yeah, that's my with the COVID year, do you guys still have any eligibility? And if so, have you made a decision on your future? Uh, I have eligibility. I got one more year. Uh, I think I'm around the same as T. Will. So whatever happens, we'll definitely see it from there. Thanks, guys. Thank y'all for everything on these four years. Still